ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And it's time once again to put that power to the test here on K-Check! K-Check. Hello everyone, I'm Jules Gia. At ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion and this is K-Check. Patuloy pa rin ang paghahanap natin ng mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Unang tanong, are they up for the challenge? Samahan niyo kami until the final week of competition to find out who our next K-Check champion will be. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Firstly, we have Ashe. Ashe is a student of UP Open University and studies multimedia arts. She is a cultural worker and performs for the advocacies of the national minority. Up next, Martin. Martin is a physics student of UP Diliman. While he studies in a very objective field, he tries to balance his life through recreational activities like hiking, boating, and exercising. Sunod naman, we have Nicole. Nicole is a student of Erist that studies special needs education. She is part of the Children and Worship Ministry in their church. Her current interests are skincare, exercise, playing instruments, and listening to playlists related to her mood and need. Finally, we have Benj. Benj is a student of UP Diliman. He studies community development. He likes playing sports and video games, reading random books, and watching stand-up comedy. He also likes reading about warfare history. Wow. Warfare. But anyway, these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. We have Professor Glessy Atienza of the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. We also have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. And of course, we also have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former Chair of the Department of History, UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first rounds? Correct answers are 10 points each, so get ready to buzz in and collect those points. So, let's, let's begin. begin! This is round number one. Question number one. What search engine gets its name from a number equal to one followed by 100 zeros? The answer is Google. Question number two. Oslo as the capital of which Northern European country? Benz. Norway. Norway is correct. K check. Question number three. At nine letters, what month's name is the longest in the English language? Ashe. September. September is correct. K check. Question number four. The number of bones in the human body is closest to how many hundred? Ashe. 300. Come again? 300. 300 is wrong. Anyone can see it? Bench. 200. 200 is correct. K check. Question number five. In elementary math, what number is 25% of 64? Ben. 16. 16 is correct. K check. Question number 6. In the NATO phonetic alphabet, if Foxtrot is F, then what game stands for G? Correct answer is golf. Question number seven. Who was the president of the Philippines at the start of the 21st century? That is January 1, 2001. Martin. Fidel Ramos. Fidel Ramos is strong. Anyone can steal. Joseph Estrada. Joseph Estrada is correct. K check. Question number eight. Which daughter of a Miss International winner was crowned Miss World Philippines in 2019 and Miss Universe Philippines in 
The correct answer is Michelle D. Question number nine. In what 2001 DreamWorks film did Cameron Diaz voice the character of Princess Fiona? Ben. Shrek. Shrek is correct. K check. Question number 10. What occasion is celebrated on October 31, especially by wearing costumes and going trick or treating? Halloween. Halloween is correct. K check. Question number 11. Which member of the Black Eyed Peas teamed up with Sandara Park in the hit single Too Proud? Bench. Apple the App. Apple the App is correct. K check. Last question for this round, number 12. Written in simplest form, how many zeros are there in 1 million? Bench. Six. Six is correct. K check. And that ends round number one. Maraming salamat, Jules. And after that round, we have, oh wow, Bench with 80 points. Nawala lang ako ng sandali, 80 points. Nakaagad ang ganyang score. Bench with 80 points, Ashay with 10, Martin and Nicole with 0 points each. But in any case, it's just the first round and we have two more rounds to go. And for now, our favorite portion to get to know our contestants, this is the portion we call King Chica. So anyway, Ashay, tell us about your work with the National Minority. Uh, I'm part of the organization, the UP Repertory Company, and we perform every time we are invited in mobilizations or in cultural performances. And we advocate for the National Minority, so mainly our performances are based on that. Maraming maraming salamat. Yes mga artista ng bayan tawag natin sa kanila. Thank you Ashley for doing that. Sunod naman si Martin. Si Martin naman is trying to achieve the elusive work-life balance or study life balance. So, kamusta naman so far Martin yung pag-achieve mo sa balance na yan? We had whole week, we had reading break. Uh, lahat doon uh, during those weeks nagbagyo ako, kumakit kami ng bundok, nagrizal ako, naghike din kami. And that was all the purpose of um, trying to balance out my life because I stressed ako before those weeks. So, I think it's going good. Naman. Um, so far, I've na recovered. I have no burnout. Ko, and I am uh, went back stronger than ever. We really need to find our own ways to yes. deal with stress. Indeed, and I'm glad that Martin found what is good for him and his mental health, of course. So in any case, maraming salamat contestant. Siyempre, mamaya babalikan natin si Nicole at saka si Benj. Kasi ngayon naman, paghahandaan natin po ang round 2. Susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan checkpoints. Recap muna tayo. Leading si Benj with 80 points, followed by Ashay with 10 points, at sila Martin at Nicole, pwede pang humabol sa ating susunod na rounds. At ngayon, balik tayo sa ating K Chica. K -chica. <laughs> Punta naman tayo kay Nicole. Nicole, nowadays, ano naman ang mood mo sa mga playlists mo? Ayan. Mood, mood ba yan talaga? Uh, this past days po talaga, marami rin pong challenges within and outside, outside home. So, madalas ko pong pakinggan ngayon is calming music po talaga, which is worship music po. Worship music. Ko, Hindi naman yung kalma. <laughs> Hindi naman. <laughs> Hindi naman. <laughs> Sample. <laughs> kalma. <laughs> so, worship music. Sarap na pakinggan yan pag nag-aaral ka, di ba? A food for the soul when yes. you're quiet. Yeah. That's right. Thank you, Nicole. Ito naman si Bench. Dalawa yung interest ni Bench na nag-stand out sa ating lahat. Ito yung mahilig siya manood ng stand-up comedy pero mahilig din siya magbasa about warfare. Medyo extreme siya, no? So, bakit ganito yung ano, naging interest mo? Um, yung sa modern, yung sa warfare history, yung simula bata pa lang ako na-expose ako sa mga encyclopedias na uh, mostly about war or ancient Greece, ancient Egypt, mga ganun. Tapos yung stand-up comedy, uh, more of naging ano siya, naging coping mechanism pag nasa-stress ako. So I turn to stand-up comedy para gumaan yung loob ko kahit pa paano. You watch or do you do it too? I, I watch, I watch lang. Same question, baka naman ikaw ay stand-up performer, hindi naman. Malay mo, next time, di ba? 
sample. Takot siya na baka ang magpasample. Pasample din natin. Okay. Maraming salamat sa inyo. And now, contestants, it's time for round two. So get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Kaya naman, let's, let's begin. begin! Question number one. What is the name of the reusable low Earth orbital spacecraft system operated from 1981 to 2011 by NASA that included Columbia, Discovery, and the ill-fated Challenger? Yes, Martin. The Hubble Telescope. What's that again? Hubble Telescope. Uh, the answer is incorrect. Anyone want to steal? The correct answer is the Space Shuttle. Question number two. What is the title of the 2010 movie directed by Tim Burton that tells the story of a girl who falls down a rabbit hole and meets characters? Ashe? Alice in Wonderland. She meets characters like the Mad Hatter and the White Queen. Alice in Wonderland is the correct answer. K check. Question number three. What is the Southeast Asian country which is home to two of the rarest big cats in the world, the Javan Tiger and the Sumatran Tiger? Bench. Indonesia. Indonesia is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. Inhabited for more than 4,000 years, Damascus is the oldest capital city that still exists. In what country can you find Damascus? The correct answer is Syria. Question number five. What acid has the chemical formula HCl? Martin. Hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid or muriatic acid is the correct answer. K check. Question number six. One of the first five films to earn two billion dollars in the box office, The Force Awakens, is part of what movie franchise? Ben. Star Wars. Star Wars is the correct answer. K check. Ako, umabot na ng 100 marks si Bench with 120 points. Question number seven. In math, what do you call the rate of change of a function with respect to a variable which may be represented by dx over dy? Martin. The derivative. Si Martin, with conviction ng pagpress ng buzzer, derivative is the correct answer. Okay, check. Question number eight. Pesto is a sauce usually made of garlic, olive oil, pine nuts, grated cheese, and the fresh leaves of what herb? Ashe. Basil. Basil is the correct answer. K check. Which makes me think none of our contestants they listed down cooking or eating as one of their favorite pastimes. In any case, question number nine. What do you call the omission of words that are obviously understood, symbolized by a punctuation mark of three dots? The correct answer is ellipsis. Question number 10. What scientific term may mean the bony socket of the eye, or alternatively, the path that a planet takes around the sun? Bench. Orbit. Orbit is the correct answer. K check. Question number 11. What sport may be played in a course 6,500 yards long that has 18 holes? Martin. Golf. Golf is the correct answer. K check. And last question for this round. Question number 12. Every year, April 22 is a day of racing awareness and taking part in the fight against climate change and environmental degradation. What is this annual international celebration called? A very important day, we celebrate Earth Day on April 22 of each year. And that's it for the second round.
Okay, so now let's do a points recap. Leading pa rin si Benj with 140 points, followed by Ashe and Martin with 50 points each. At si Nicole naman, subukan pa nating humabol sa susunod na round. 360 points ang next round, so anything can happen and anyone can win yes. for today. So hindi pa tapos ang labanan, ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! Welcome back to K-Check! Points recap tayo, Bench is leading with 140 points, followed by Ashe and Martin with 50 points each. At si Nicole naman, kaya pang humabol dahil meron pa tayong paparating na ultimate pagalingan round. So dito sa round na to, correct answers are worth 30 points each pero may 15 point deduction for wrong answers. And for this multiple choice round, we will accept the answer itself or the letter and answer but not the letter only. So contestants, let's go for those points and for the win. Remember sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Kaya naman, let's, let's begin! begin. So let's kick off the Pagalingan round with the first question from Prof. Glessy. Thank you. Okay. Ang komedya ay tradisyonal na dula tungkol sa labanan ng kapangyarihan ng Kristyanismo at ng Moro. Ano ang tawag sa komedya sa Cebu? Letter A, Linambay. Letter B, Moro-Moro. Letter C, Linamon. Letter D, Limon. Letter E, Lambayan. Martin. Letter B, Moro Moro. Ay, hindi. Wrong answer. Anyone can steal? Okay, ang tamang sagot ay letter A, Linambay. Maraming salamat, Prof. Glassy. Prof. Marla. Science. What do you call the process by which plants lose water vapor through small openings in their leaves? A. Photosynthesis B. Transpiration C. Respiration D. Germination E. Evaporation Correct answer is B, transpiration. Maraming salamat. Prof. Lu this time. Okay, cultural history tayo. As of April 2024, who is the artist with the most monthly listeners on Spotify? The choices are A, Beyonce, B, The Weeknd, C, Taylor Swift, D, Rihanna, Letter E, Drake. Martin. C, Taylor Swift. That's incorrect. Sorry. <sighs> no hurt ang feelings Anyone ng can ating see? Swiftie. <laughs> Sorry sa mga Swiftie. Pero this Canadian singer and songwriter became the first artist to surpass 100 million monthly listeners in Spotify's history. The artist formerly known as The Weeknd is now using his birth name, Abel Maconen Tesfaye, as his professional name. The correct answer is B, The Weeknd. Mas lalo pang tataas after today ang makikinig sa Spotify. Okay. <laughs> Sino kaya siya? <laughs> okay, second round. Okay. Prof. Glessy. Salamat. Ang second round. Ang pelikulang Biyaya ng Lupa ay nagwagi ng parangal bilang pinakamahusay na pelikula. Sa pelikulang ito, ang hanap buhay ng bagong kasal na ginampanan ni Rosa Rosal at Tony Santos Sr. ay ano? A. Magsasaka ng lansones Letter B. Magsasaka ng palay Letter C. Magsasaka ng mais Letter D. Magsasaka ng asukal Letter E. Magsasaka ng sibuyas Okay Ang sagot natin ay letter A, magsasaka ng lansones. Okay, maraming salamat. Maraming salamat. Prof. Marla. Biology. During cell division, 
which structure is responsible for regulating the cell cycle and organizing the mitotic spindle? A. Nucleus B. Golgi apparatus C. Centriole D. Lysosome E. Peroxisome The correct answer is C. Centriole Maraming salamat. Now, Prof. Lu. Okay, cultural history uli. What country is famous for its annual La Tomatina festival held every last Wednesday of August? The choices are A. Mexico B. Colombia C. Puerto Rico D. Spain E. Argentina La Tomatina is a Spanish festival where participants throw tomatoes at each other from the festival's origin as a food fight between friends in the 1940s it has become a famous tourist attraction in Buñol, Spain the correct answer is D, Spain Maraming salamat and after the second round Scores we let's have a tayo. score recap Jules? Okay, so, so far Benj is the leading with 140 points followed by Ashe with 50 points Martin with 20 points and Nicole Habol pa tayo Okay, so to start off the second half of the Ultimate Pagalingan Round, Prof. Glessie. Thank you. Ang pag-awit ay isang libangang kinagigiliwa ng maraming Pilipino. Sa ang parte ba ng katawan, nalilikha ang tinig? Letter A, diaphragm. Letter B, vocal cords. Letter C, Nicole. B, vocal cord. Tutuloy ko. Letter C, bibig. Letter D, dibdib. And letter E, ulo. Ang tamang sagot ay letter B, vocal cords. Kate <laughs> Maraming salamat, Prof. Glessie. Prof. Marla this time. What do you call the branch of science that studies the composition, structure, properties, and reactions? Martin. Chemistry. Uh, sorry. Reactions of matter. The choices were A. Biology, B. Chemistry, C. Physics, D. Geology, E. Astronomy. The correct answer is B. Chemistry, K. Check. Itong si Martin, palaging with conviction. Pag alam niya yung sagot, alam na alam mo. <laughs> Prof. Lu. Okay, religious history naman tayo. What religion believes in supernatural entities called kami? The choices are A. Hinduism B. Taoism C. Shintoism D. Shintoism A polytheistic and animistic religion, Shinto revolves around supernatural entities called the Kami. The Kami are believed to inhabit all things, including the forces of nature and prominent landscape locations. The correct answer is C. Shintoism K. Check. Maraming salamat. Ngayon, ito na talaga. Last. The last round of our ultimate pagalingan round. Hey. Prof. Glessie. Thank you. Sino ang pinuno ng simbahang katoliko na nanawagan sa mamamayang pumunta sa EDSA at suportahan ng pagkilos sa pagpapatalsik ng Rehimeng Marcos noong 1986? Letter A, Jaime Cardinal Sin. Letter B, Julio Cardinal Rosales. Letter C, Pope John Paul II. Letter D, Cardinal Vidal. And letter E, none of the above. Benz. Jaime Cardinal Sin. The correct answer is letter A, Jaime Cardinal Sin. K-check. Oh, akala ko nga mag-uunahan sila sa pagsagot. Tagal na kasi ng 1986, it's a revolution. So hindi natin dapat... Kalimutan. Prof. Marla. Biology. Which cellular structure is responsible for containing the genetic material and controlling cellular activities? A. Nucleus. B. Chloroplast. C. Ribosome. D. Centriole. E. Vacuole. Nicole. A. Nucleus. The correct answer is A. Nucleus. K. Check. 
before we end this round, nasa second place na si Nicole. Galing kanina, no? Galing. Prof. Lu. Okay, pivot naman tayo sa economic history. During his term as Philippine president, currency exchange controls were lifted and the Philippine peso was allowed to float on the free currency exchange market. The choices are A. Ferdinand Marcos Sr. B. Justado Macapagal C. Carlos P. Garcia D. Manuel Rojas E. Elpidio Quirino Currency and import controls were in place during the administration of Quirino, Magsaysay, and Garcia. After his inauguration and before the opening of Congress in 1962, Makapagal signed a central bank decree abolishing exchange controls and returning the country to free enterprise. The correct answer is B. Justado Makapagal. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Maraming, maraming congratulations to Benj, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 200 points. We'll see him again on Friday when he competes with our other Daily Winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Siyempre, maraming salamat din sa ating mga contestants, kina Ashley, Martin, and Nicole. Palakpakan natin sila. And to our members sa ating panel of experts, Professor Gressy, Professor Marla, and Professor Lu. Maraming salamat po. Ako po si Zulz Giang. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round here on K-Check. K -Check.